Welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about crankcase inspection of main engine, mainly two stroke main and diesel engine. So, let us move the topic in detail. The purpose of crankcase inspection it is to ensure that main components like fixing bolt piping has become loose during previous voyage, whether it has become loose during previous voyage. Crankcase inspection should be carried in every month when ship is in port or an anchor. Okay. The purpose of crankcase inspection is to ensure that none of the main components like fixing bolt pipe has become loose during the previous voyage and it should this crankcase inspection should be carried in every month when ship is in port or an anchor. Okay. The procedure. We, we should inform the port authority and get permission. That means immobilization certificate we need to get if it is in port. And shut off main air starting valve and air bottle main valve. We need to shut off main air bottle valve and main air starting valve. Okay. Then open indicator cock and you should engage the turning gear. Open indicator cock, you should engage the turning gear. Ensure engine has been tuned for at least half an hour before swapping the lubricant pump and cause the lubrication pump. We should ensure that the engine has been tuned for at least half an hour before swapping the lubricant pump and cause the lubrication pump. After that, we have to stop lubricant pump and place circuit breaker in the off position. After that, we have to stop the lubricant pump and place circuit breaker in the off position. Then we need to post notice that main network. We have to post notice that plug out notice that main network. Then we should inform the duty officer for checking the propeller clearance. We need to inform the duty officer for checking the propeller clearance. We have to open the crankcase door and ventilate properly. We have to open the crankcase door and it should, we should ventilate it properly. Then we should wear safety gear. We should wear safety gear, helmet, boots, raincoats, gloves, etc. We should wear safety gear, helmet, boots, raincoat, etc. We should use safety lamps, torches, etc. We should use safety lamp, torch, etc. All pockets should be emptied of contents and all tools taken inside must be accounted for. We should ensure that all pockets should be emptied and of contact and all tools taken must be inside must be accounted. And one responsible person, he should must stand outside. One responsible person must stand outside. Okay. These are the procedures. Then what are the checks that need to be, need to be carried out or for crankcase inspection? We need to check lube oil overall quality. We should check lube oil overall quality. We can check by smell, color and cleanness. We can check the lube oil overall quality by checking smell color and cleanness. We can check for white metal particle or foreign particles in the lubricating oil. We can check whether it is dirty or white metal particles or foreign particles are there in the lubricating oil. We can check for white metal squeezing at bearing. At bearing we can check by some white metal squeezing is there. Then we can check the crankcase valve for carbon deposit leaking from diaphragm. We can check the car crankcase valve for carbon deposits leaking from the diaphragm. We can check the crank pin and web alignment mark. We can check the crank pin and the web alignment mark. And we can check the gate shoe and end cover bolts are in place and not slack. We can check the gate shoe and whether the end cover bolts are in place and not slack. Okay, these are the checks. Then we should check all bolt, nut and locking mark. All the bolts, nut and locking mark are whether in good position, not loose and all. We need to check the crankcase relief door wire mesh. It should be wet. That means we should check the crankcase relief door wire mesh. It should be wet. Means and spring tension, serial ring condition, etc. Spring tension, serial ring condition, etc. Any discoloration may, may, may signify the hotspot under we should identify. If there is, a, we should check whether is there any indication that signifies that there is chance of hotspot and all. We should check the clearance of bearing. We should check the clearance of bearing and check the locking wire and locking bushes on the bolt of the stuffing box. We should check the locking bushes and locking bushes on the bolt of stuffing box. We should check oil mist detector sampling pipe for any clear passage. We should check the oil mist detector piping sampling pipe for clear passage. We should check oil mist detector sample pipe for clear passage. Before coming out, we should make sure that there is nothing left inside. We should ensure that before coming out, we should make sure that there is nothing left inside it. These are the procedures and checks that we need to do while during crankcase inspection and all. Thank you.